Could these be the absolute best scrambled eggs ever? Ever? Maybe. Because we're going to Truffle Town. Don't say that again. If you've watched uh, no, this, say we're going to Truffle Town. I'm not saying we're going to Truffle Town. We're going to Truffle Town. We're not Town. going to fucking Truffle Town. Stop saying that. We're not him. It's Truffle Time. If you've watched this, it's Truffle O'Clock. If you've watched this channel for even a few short weeks, you saw that Max, in an absolutely irresponsible moment, spent a thousand dollars on a big piece of Wagyu. Drunken Wagyu A5 A5 picanha. Wagyu drunken picanha. And it's $600 on a boneless ribeye American Wagyu. He's irresponsible as F. Well, it's happened again because in this is Max's most recent purchase, not nearly as expensive. This is only $41. Summer fresh black truffles from Italy in New York. And Italy, a play on the name Italy, is an amazing store what is it series of shops italian food and drinks and pastas and and fresh uh, mozzarella being made fresh mozz made right there in front of you and bars and you can eat and you can it's the best it's a great place and so max picked this up when he was uh, in new york just the other day and now we're gonna make which i like truffle a lot i've never had my own our own actual truffle do you know how i smuggled that back up your ass here it is we've been talking about it look how beautiful it's just gorgeous i've used truffle oil i do think i had truffle shaved on something once i don't really remember oh i did yes yes at cali remember what was yeah. the, what was the dish it was a risotto can't remember yes risotto a delicious risotto our holiday party a delicious risotto he shaved the f out of one of these things on top of our plates it was so good and so fragrant and wonderful but i've never had my own but i do put truffle oil in my scrambled eggs and now i can put real truffle in my scrambled eggs so not only we're going to have that but i'm going to show you how to make beautiful slow scrambled eggs that are tender and luscious and gorgeous with this in it and this on it. Well, let's just shave a little, shall we? Just to have a little bite. We'll put our beautiful truffle on Max's new plates. You should see him smiling behind the camera. He is so proud of his uh, purchase. And while you can cut a truffle with a knife, the proper thing to use is a truffle slicer. And we had to go buy one of those last minute today because the idea is to shave it super super fine you don't want thick ass pieces because it's expensive so here it is uh, I guess you can adjust it you can make it bigger but I should probably try and wow well that was anticlimactic though there's piece that didn't come off okay let's see get a couple there you go now you're starting to smell the truffle come out beautifully it's the prettiest thing ever okay so let's do this let's take this off so beautiful, huh? You want every drop. Like back when I used to be a uh, you want to make sure you get all of the blow. I'm on that the is not true. It's not true. I did sell hash one summer. <laughs> yeah, we all know that. With Bill. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. This, I just want to chop up nice and fine. This is going to go in the eggs just as they're cooking. And then, of course, we're shaving some on top. So here's a little pile of truffle. There you go, it's about uh, $7. There will be chives involved, so we'll get them ready. These will now go over here. I have a little white onion cut up already, but now we want some bread because we're gonna make this beautiful. So let's get ourselves a nice slice. That's gonna be beautiful up there. Okay, egg time. I'm not going to need three for the top of this, but I'm going to need three because we're all going to want to eat some. Oh boy, living right today with the truffle. Not one piece of shell. A little salt and pepper, and we mix. And we beat, I mean. And the idea is to make sure that the yolk is fully combined with the white. And you have to do a good job. I'm hitting the bottom of this. If you don't do that, then you're going to get white spots and yellow spots. And we want uniformity here, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we didn't want uniformity. We want uniformity. Fourth video. Stop it. It depends. We want uniformity sometimes, and that's this time. Max is referring to the potato salad, the way I cut the potatoes all different for the July 4th video. All right, I say let's get some butter in here and start happening. All right, I've had a request from the boys to bring my induction burner up here, and I will do that because I listen to them because they cry when I don't. Nice knob of butter, and in it goes. Now, I'm already getting shit because I like to do what I call slow scrambled eggs, and that's how you keep them perfect. And it does take a little bit, but it just calm down. He's got the heat set at negative four. No, I don't. 
Okay, I can turn it up a little bit because I'm gonna cook some onion first. And butter's gonna be our friend today. I mean, why shouldn't it be? So let's put the onion in, finely diced, not a ton. We're not caramelizing, we're not doing that. I don't want that kind of flavor out of them. I really want the flavor to come from the truffle. And while we're waiting, let's just put a little butter here, soft butter, and give it a tiny little bit of garlic powder. That's it. I want a hint. Okay, that much of a hint. There we go. This is gonna go on our bread that we're gonna grill. So just a quick mix. And then we can take this, put it on both sides of the bread. All right, I'll leave it set on that. Come back to our onions. So these guys are pretty much where I want them. And now that first little bit of truffle that we cut is right here on my knife. We'll scatter this in like that and give it just, a, you know, 30 seconds to start to flavor this onion and the butter. Mmm. Just when you start getting the hints of the truffle. And we come with the egg. And like that. So it all comes out. And if it starts cooking right away, but you want some of that, turn it down a bit. Slow, slow, slow. We're stirring, we're stirring. This is my favorite kind of spatula. You can't get this anymore, but you see how bendable it is? That's what you want, and it's also high heat, so it's not gonna burn up. So now look, if you're doing this on a stove and it's getting a little hot, just take the pan away. If this takes you five minutes to make scrambled eggs, it's a worthy five minutes because they're gonna come out amazing. And you see it's starting to cook. As I draw the spatula through, you notice it takes a second to fill in. So that's, it's getting there, it's getting thicker. But what if it takes you 35 minutes? It won't take me long? 35 minutes, stop complaining. Do you want this to be good? Should we set the timer? Do you want it to be right or do you want it to be fast? You almost want to see that it's not cooking at all. <laughs> Why must you bust my nuts so hard over this? This is the way to do it. Wait till you eat these. You're gonna be very happy. All right, so then we'll cut and come back in 45 minutes and we'll see where we're at. And our bread will go there. Golden brown, beautiful, crispy. That's what we want. We want the contrast between the soft, gentle, tender eggs and the crispy underneath. All right, you see? Now we cooking. Now we cooking. Now we're cooking here. This is beautiful. They're staying creamy. They're not dry. Look, you can make scrambled eggs in a, about 30 seconds in a super hot pan, but it's not gonna be gorgeous they like suck. this. That's how you make them dry. That's right. So you can complain all you want, but. Okay, I have, a I have the chives just a tiny bit in here. And we'll reserve some for the top. So this has been, five, I think, a solid five minutes. That's quite acceptable in my world. And I resisted putting cheese in here. This is what you need. This is what you want. And the bread should be ready to flip. Oh yeah, that's it. Crust, baby, crust. Okay, we're almost there with these. But to add a little extra buttery richness, is what you do. You just drop one piece of butter in. Let it slowly melt. Cold butter too. Now, this is gonna be the best. It's gonna tighten up just a tiny bit more and then I think we can get it happening. And here we go, our toast. Lightly garlic. With a hint of garlic, I meant to say. And now celebrating the gorgeous black truffleness, I'm using a black spoon. So there we have that. Looking about as nice as it could be. Tiny little bit of chive. Just a little gentle onion bite. Oh, mother of God. Okay, and then the reason we're all here, out comes our friend from Italy. Let's go to Truffle Town, baby. Stop with the Truffle Town. Now, ideally, uh, you'd want them to land perfectly, but I don't know if that's... Well, I guess, look, I mean, I, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna be like a barbarian and do that. Oh, but do you hear that? That's what you wanted, that sound. Look at, it's stuck to the side. Oh, and this one fell off. I might as well have a, like a really good bite, right? Shit. I mean, yeah, you're going to Truffle Town. I'm not going to Truffle Town. I'm gonna eat some of this egg with truffle on it. I ain't going to no damn Truffle Town. That's, that's a perfect side view. You know something? I don't like when truffle is overwhelming and it can be overwhelming. Truffle oil, when used with even a slightly heavy hand, can ruin everything. But this, oh no, this is something special. And by the way, if you hate the idea of the truffle, just do to the eggs what I did with the eggs. Get them to this point on a great piece of toast, crispy underneath, soft, gentle, tender on top. You'll be really happy. See ya.